There's not much to say about Kyoto other than you have to go. One of the first things I attended the day after I arrived in Kyoto was the Hitaki ritual, which is a fire ceremony that is held at different shrines within Kyoto. And the one that I went to in particular was at the Kifun Shrine, which took me about an hour and a half biking up north of the city to find it. Even though it took me forever to get to certain places, biking through Kyoto was one of my most memorable experiences and that happened every day that I was there. I wish that I could remember the name of this temple, but there were so many and it was hard to keep track after a while. I just circled different spots on the map and would plug it into my GPS and go for it. And this was one of the temples that I found on my way back to my Airbnb coming down from Kifun Shrine. The most fascinating part about this particular temple was that it was empty and no one was there. And it sat really high up, so once you got to the top of the stairs, you were able to see just vast, vast landscapes, and it was just stunning. I wish I could show you more of Miho Castle, but unfortunately there were no cameras allowed, so I was only able to get a few shots of the grounds outside. Gian Kyoto had to be my favorite place, primarily because it was the home of geisha. It's where geisha live, it's where the art of geisha is still practiced, and these are not real geisha by the way, they were just tourists who were able to get dressed up in geisha attire. I bought a ticket to watch a real geisha ceremony take place, which is what I was in Gian in the first place for anyway. This is another shrine I forgot the name of because there's so many and I'm not Japanese so even when I go back and read my notes and my maps and pamphlets I still can't quite remember which shrine I went to or where they were exactly. Now on this I'm probably going to go to jail for because there was absolutely no video photography allowed inside of the theater because these are real geisha who have spent their entire lives working to reach a certain point but I could not help but document just pieces of it because this is something that I've wanted to see since I was a very small child. So I'm going to show just a few more clips of the geisha performance and hopefully no one from Japan or the theater or a geisha sees this video and gets me in trouble. Before the show started I attended a tea ceremony which was put on by the geisha and it's a part of the ritual that they do um, for whomever it is that they are performing for. First and foremost, you have to acknowledge the detail, the colors, and just the, the creativeness that is involved in how the Japanese people go about doing things, especially within the arts. <laughs> 